Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Shapeways Channel, a leader in 3D printing solutions combining high-quality, flexible, on-demand manufacturing powered by purpose-built proprietary software, which enables customers to rapidly transform digital designs into physical products globally. We have the pleasure to be joined by Greg Crest, the Chief Executive Officer, who's going to be giving us some insight today. So first and foremost, welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. That's a great intro, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Pleasure to get you on. So first and foremost, for newer investors and people who are kind of unaware, can you kind of give us a brief elevator pitch to Shapeways and kind of the 3D printing industry and where it sits today? Yeah, so Shapeways is a digital manufacturing platform. We offer our customers on-demand manufacturing services. So if you need to produce a part, specifically low volume, high mix production, you can use a service like Shapeways to go get that part manufactured. And we typically lean into very um, advanced additive manufacturing technologies to go help support our customers do that. And the way we're able to do that for our customers is because we spent a lot of energy and time really creating a digital thread within our business. That software platform that you mentioned um, kind of in the intro, uh, we've been working on that platform for the last 10 years. And what we've done is we've been able to remove a lot of the waste and costs and been able to optimize our platform um, so that we can offer our customers a highly efficient manufacturing process um, at really great economics. And so the way to think about Shapeways Manufacturing Services is it's similar to like the AWS for the 3D printing industry. Um, so just like Amazon moved their servers out of the out of the um, out of the office and into the cloud, Shapeways is doing the same thing with additive manufacturing. So we offer our customers a wide range of manufacturing technologies and a lot of different materials and finishes. Um, and that allows them to kind of get the benefits of getting access to that technology in a very easy way without making significant CapEx investments. And then also having the flexibility to kind of scale up and down based on where their business is going. Yeah, I definitely appreciate these insights. And when we come back, we're going to kind of dive deeper into your investor presentation, learn a little bit more. Uh, but first and foremost, kind of rolling back a little bit. I mean, you worked with GE supporting global commercial operations and supply chain management. I mean, you've had this extensive history here. Do you want to just kind of give us an idea of what led up to that aha moment for you kind of getting involved with Shapeways in 2018? Yeah, so I, I would say I started my career as a mechanical engineer. Um, you know, I started with GE in engineering and manufacturing and supply chain, spent over 10 years with them. Um, I was very lucky to be able to have a really diverse career um, and be able to uh, work in a ton of different functions and in a ton of different businesses, mostly on the industrial side, um, where I was able to gain a ton of experience, not only on the commercial side and PL leadership, but also on the product side of the business. Um, you know, ultimately, I left GE. I wanted to do something uh, a little bit more aggressive. And so I ended up joining a, a startup um, in the ed tech space. And I helped lead that company for about four, a little over four years. Um, and we made some incredible progress. And, you know, ultimately, I ended up leaving that company and joining Shapeways because I saw this a similar opportunity where I could take my background from GE kind of on the industrial side, um, my mechanical engineering background, and apply that. Um, to a business that was trying to drive software innovation. And, you know, we've been able to couple those two things together and really figure out how to go and drive Shapeways. Because I think if you take a big step back, there's two big things that Shapeways does interestingly. One, it's hard to do additive manufacturing. It's hard to produce parts. And you need to really lean into that software platform to really optimize the process. And then the second is, very few small manufacturing companies are actually digitized. I would argue that manufacturing is probably the largest market that's not digitized today. And so as you think about the benefits of doing that digital transformation, um, very few companies other than the largest manufacturers haven't been able to do that. And so Shapeways has built that software platform to digitize their business. And so it allows us to move online, have a ton of accessibility with our customers, it allows us to move through the process really efficiently to drive profitability and allows us to really supplement our business with the supply chain to really give our customers everything they need. And so those tools um, is really missing in the market. And there's no other players in the space that have developed a software platform like Shapeways um, to be able to go help digitize manufacturing. And I see that as a big thing for, for Shapeways in the future. Yeah, I appreciate that. Do you want to kind of give us a, a brief understanding, too, of who's kind of helping you captain this ship and uh, just kind of push you forward on the management team? Yeah, so we've built an incredible team at Shapeways. I think on the executive team, we have um, 
our SPAC sponsor, Gal Galileo Alberto, actually has joined our board as our CFO. Um, we also have Andy Mead, who is our chief operating officer, and we have Robert, who runs as our GC. Um, but then beyond that, we built a really solid senior management team that kind of supports us, that VP layer and above. Um, and it's a really diverse group of uh, a team of people. You know, ultimately, it comes from a lot of different industries, comes with a lot of software and manufacturing background. Um, and we have key players leading product and technology. We have a GM structure of leading the major revenue lines of the business. Um, and then of course we have a lot of the support functions. Now that we're a public company, it's really important for us to have people with that deep domain experience that they've been able to do that for other companies. We now have that inside. So over the last, I'd say 18 months, we've spent a lot of time and energy really building that solid foundation. Um, and now everybody's off, and, off to the races and running. And so now we're starting to see a lot of that execution happening um, where we've made the investments and we're starting to see the fruits of our labor. And speaking of that execution side of the business, uh, kind of catalyst, what are you looking forward to here in 2023? Yeah, in 2023, you know, since IPOing, there's really two things we've been focused on. One is really expanding our manufacturing services be, to be able to support real enterprise customers. Enterprise customers have always been a big piece of our business. They've been growing the most. They're the most profitable customers we have. But ultimately, we want to build an engine around how to go and really support those. And so we're doing that through, you know, investing in new equipment and materials and, and finishes and certifications, both organically and inorganically. And we've made a ton of progress over the last year, really focused on that. The second thing we've been focused on is really commercializing that software platform that we use selfishly internally. We're now making that available for a lot of other customers. We've made great progress this year, um, allowing other small and mid-sized manufacturers to start to use our software and gain the benefits um, the exact same benefits that Shapeways has been able to gain over the last several years. Well, on that note, I want to pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you guys think about this in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news comes down the wire, we're going to continue updating Shapeways. We're going to dive into their investor presentation, talk more about financials and earnings. So on that note, definitely consider subscribing. And as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.